Just doing a little video of the Ipswich Windrush Society, Caribbean people that came over, over here in the 60s and remain with us today, although some are sadly departed, but a wonderful gentleman has put a display together in Ipswich of all the, the, the Caribbean culture that was brought to the Britain um, in a display. Um, you know, um, so it's the Windrush Society. Lovely. And we've got pictures of, of, of the old things that we used to, the records that used to play, typewriter, the passport, the, the pictures of, of, of the, the singers. We're just having a little pout around. Of course you can. Okay, I'm going to volley, I'm going to volley. I'm just videoing this so I can put it on Facebook and this. I'm videoing yeah. you, videoing Martin. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Thomas and Mr. Thomas. Sitting of down course. Here, right? Eating yeah. our yeah. packet of crisp and our banana and our ginger cake, which you're going to give us. Okay? Yeah, but I will. I needed, I needed Mr. Thomas Lovely. to actually imagine seeing someone coming in here, just off the head, just by chance. We've got Mr. Thomas sitting in here having a conversation. I've had a bit of work that I've had to do here. And we've got a gentleman over there and uh, who's come in, he's been here three times trying to get a picture. His face is lit up with what he sees here. Beautiful. He, wants, he says, he says beautiful. Your name is? Colton Jackson. And you are related to? Um, Cappy Lexford Brown. And that Cappy Lexford up, Brown up here, is right there, sir. And this guy's smiling and saying enough respect for... And this is the guy who's put it all together and you will you introduce yourself? My name's Max Thomas and we're part of the Ipswich Green Rush Society. We only put this together within five weeks. Well done. Five weeks because we are not here to entertain the tourists. We are yeah. not here to entertain the tourists. We are not here to entertain the locals. We're here to educate yes. and to actually become part of the legacy of these people you see on the wall. Yes, yes. And, and if we can make that happen. And it's okay for me to video you. Of course, sir. Okay, then, fine. And we have a visitor, Mr. J My name is Thomas, Derek Mr. Thomas, yes. Yes. And I've been in Ipswich now since 1968. Wonderful. But I have worked overseas for about 15 years. So I only started walking back in Ipswich in 1989. But I've, you know, traveled quite a lot, many countries around the world. Wonderful. Yes. So ah. I gave Derek a picture of me doing this in... You can pick up that picture there, Derek. Mm -hmm. Right? If you have a look at that picture there, that was 19... That was 98. In, 1998, I decided to put this put a organisation together with a group of people, which Wonderful. unfortunately I've had to step away now. Oh. But I've come back again in five and a half weeks. And Wonderful. Put this together, Wonderful. And liking this display, and you're liking. This and display. and we have the par a paraffin heater. <laughs> <laughs> I tend, we tend to have the one that was in a circle. The one you yeah. cook on, the one yeah. you cook on the yeah. top. The one I had in a circle. I have a lady promised me one of those. Uh, yeah, if but you I'm, can get at it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to put one because everybody said that one's too muddy. That one's too Yeah, muddy. that is modern. No, yeah. no, no, That's no. too classy. Yeah. Yeah. The one um, you had to cook on. And I walked in with my Jamaica ginger cake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bizarrely enough, and I'm going to hand it to the organiser. And you're going to take a picture of me. To enjoy himself <laughs> no, with. No, no, no. I'm not going to take this cake. I was teasing with him. Wonderful. Sometimes when you come to somebody's house, yes. right? You don't call me the dry <laughs> Lovely. Isn't that right, Mr. Carlton? Yes. Right? Ah, and we've got an yeah. Afro comb over there. Listen, he's loving the pictures, right? Oh. Lovely Afro comb. Yeah, I have so many you know? pictures. Have you seen the hair clippers there? They cut your hair with down the bottom there. And some lovely hair clippers from back in the day. Yeah. Hey, you can see your hair comb. <laughs> look at the white, look at the windows, look at the arm with the clock in here, half of the fish. Oh yes, and we've got a wire half comb as well. I am that's a torture chamber. Half of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah, and the lovely Lord's Supper picture that many homes would hold. Okay. So do you like well, it, sir? That's it. Um, the 21st June, celebrating, commemorating the Windrush. The yeah. Ipswich Windrush, celebrating and commemorating 
our loved ones. And what I'm going to say there is... is and we're going to finish with this. Okay. The 22nd of June yeah. is the government's official date. Okay. Um, for the Windrush. And mm. funding comes out for the 22nd. And anybody buys in for the 22nd. But if you go and look at the records, the ship docked on the 21st okay. of June. Yeah. They travelled for twelve, sorry, six weeks from the 14th of May, mm. all around the Caribbean islands to come to this country. Yeah. Look at the clothes they were wearing. Look how sharp they were coming to the motherland. Mm. So how dare you change the 21st to the 22nd? Mm. How dare you do get them on true. the boat for a following day, an extra day? Why would you turn around and put the actual NHS celebrations after the wind rush? when the people came from the wind rush to support the NHS, which was before that. Mm. So look at the things that you see on the television, look at the information, and this room is here to just to jerk you. If you want to hear more, yeah. there's going to be more. Cool. Thank you very much from Max Thomas and the Ipswich Wind Rush Society. And Mr. Derek Thomas. Derek Thomas. All right. Faithful in Ipswich. See, there's stay